Hi everyone, it's Chocolate Bertie for another video review. This time we have the Cadbury Cake Bars White Chocolate Flavour. Yeah, so I don't know if there's a regular Cadbury Cake Bar. I mean, I've probably reviewed one in my time, I think, so it does ring bells. Um, but obviously this is the Christmas White Chocolate Edition. So you see if I have Christmas there? Cake Bar, White Chocolate, yeah. in the chimney. Some snow, <laughs> must be Christmas. <laughs> it's quite nice, as I say, they don't overtly usually have such Christmas motifs on products these days, but Cadbury's have kind of, you know, we're not worried about it and just Christmas theme things. I mean, still don't sort of specifically say Christmas on them, I don't think, but, um, you know, they do sort of, uh, yeah, I mean, they clearly are Christmas stuff, and they've got this reindeer ones as well. Um, so interesting, nice, nice to see, I guess. Um, you can realize why they don't do it, because obviously they don't want to not sell them to people who don't celebrate Christmas. Um, but, you know, I guess, yeah, I mean, if you're going to do it, just do it, you know what I mean? I think people will understand, you know, it's not fair enough. So, yeah, so what does it say? So, Cadbury Cake Bars, a delicious chocolate-flavoured sponge with a white chocolate-flavoured topping covered with milk chocolate. Um, yeah, so it's got per cake, 24 grams, 110 calories, and 500 grams of fats, 2.8 of which are saturates. And there's five of these in each, in each bag. So, again, I can already tell there's massive gaps in here, you know, it's going to be one of those... So it's a bit like one of their other, I mean, it's not mini rolls, but it's like one of their other cake sort of bars they do. Well, literally a cake bar in this case. I mean, it's a very unimaginative name, isn't it, really? You know, yeah. But it looks quite nice. You've got the usual stuff on it. Um, yeah, so we've got the other flavour for delicious chocolate flavoured sponge, blah, blah, blah. But then it's got the official one. Chocolate flavoured sponge with a white chocolate flavour topping covered with milk chocolate. So it's about the same, actually, isn't it? Got the usual stuff. Contact us if you're not happy. Um... To say Mondelez from Mondelez, produced in the UK, it does say make it say nuts and has milk and stuff. Um, can't see anything obvious saying it's suitable for vegetarians, so maybe it isn't. Yeah, never that obvious anyway, but um, usually it's a, a bit prominent, but there's nothing on here at all, so yeah, I guess it isn't. Hmm, don't know why though. Um, yeah, doesn't seem to say it. Well, there you go. Right, you know, yeah, there's no Queen's uh, symbol either. You know, I keep talking about that Queen's symbol. There isn't one at all on this. So some Cadbury's products there are. So you would have thought it'd be all Cadbury's products. I don't know what makes this one different that doesn't have the, uh, you know, that sort of like Queen symbol on it. Let's see if this Cadbury's got this one to review at some point. Yeah, there we go. So this uh, has, has the vegetarian sign there quite prominently. And also the Queen symbol there at the, at the bottom. Yeah. So if you can see that one there, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, so for some reason this one doesn't qualify for it. Okay, right. Well, white chocolate. I mean, it's a bit funny. White chocolate flavour. Why does it not just have white chocolate in it? I don't know. Yeah, um, I'll cover it in white chocolate. Um. Yeah, so it's the same odd. So it's white chocolate flavour topping. Mm, so interesting. Well, let's give it open. So it's like. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, guys. Yeah, give it open. So um, just got to say, it's got the nice. Um, shooting star motif on there as well. Uh, well, motif, but like packaging. But it's got the um, this Cadbury's sort of knitted, sort of, sort of woven cottony type. I don't know <laughs> what you'd say material. Sort of back in there, if you can see on the purple, rather than just a flat purple, it's uh, like a sort of woolen material look or knitted material or something. So it's quite nice. Okay, let's go and open then. I'm expecting uh, lots of space in here, lots of gappage. Um, I can open it. I guess the flourishes do help to open these things, but obviously there are other ways to open things. You just have to be with the flourishes. So, you know, it's not really an excuse to have them. So you can see already, look, you know, I've just opened it there. It's that big gap. There. Okay, so there we go. So, yeah, so they're kind of like mini roll size, but there's a bit of a gap on the side there. Yeah, so, hmm. Okay, let's take them up. So this one, yeah, I like the mini roll. The uh, packaging does continue to have that like, Father Christmas on there, Santa Claus, and the other things. On the, on the mini rolls, they just lost all the... They had like, the snow in the background, but they just didn't have the Father Christmas, I don't think, or even the house. They just sort of kept it really blank, and I was thinking, um, have they gone against what I was saying on the front of the packaging by just removing all the all sort of hints at Christmas? Um, but they've kept them on here, so I don't really know if it's just a mistake or what, but so we can clearly see they're still there on this one, so it does make sense. Uh, okay, so uh, let's give it a measure with the uh, flourishes roughly, a rough measurement. About 10.5 centimetres roughly. Yeah, so let's uh, give one an open, see what it's like. 10.5 centimetres, what will that go to? Well, 
Yeah, there's not much more to say on the cake on the actual cake thing. It just has a chocolate flavor sponge with a white chocolate flavor topping covered in with milk chocolate. So it just does the same again underneath. Mainly, it's just like look at the outer packaging generally these things for the more information. So there you go, looks okay. But yeah, better than the mini rolls anyway. The Christmas ones they had of those. Okay. Right, so yeah, what was the measurement? Then it was roughly. Yeah, about, uh, well, was it 10? Well, this one's 11 centimetres now, so yeah. <laughs> I think the one was 10 and a half, but I'm not sure. That's gone to 11, so this is another width on this one. About seven and a half at the most, seven on other places. Yeah, so lost a lot there. You can see how much you lose if I just pop it into the cardboard. You can see there just how much you lose there. So clearly, a lot of wasted space there. It's, it's ridiculous when you look at that, isn't it? It's ridiculous. You know, they don't need to be the big, as big as they are at all. Yes, there you go. So it's uh, not too impressive looking. Uh, I'll just give a measurement before we touch it too much. So, yes, yeah, so it's got to about seven and a half height wise, about, about 2.1 in um, width, about 2.5. So, there we go. Okay, so yeah, so it looks a little too bad. Looks okay. A bit bland, possibly. That's all right. No tire tracks underneath. Melted my hands a bit. Let's give it a cut. Yeah. 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 Some you know, chocolate from the previous uh, <laughs> review there. Um, okay, so yeah, so it's squeezed a bit when I've cut it. If the knife is a bit sharper, I get a better thing. But you can see there basically what it looks like. So compare that with the front. Let's see, I squashed a bit because of the knife. Um, you see it there, so it's not bad actually, it's not bad, I'd say it's, it's not quite as rounded as that even before I cut it with the knife, um, see on the back that's how rounded it is, but you know, yeah, looks okay, looks okay. I mean, the proportions aren't quite right, as I say, I squashed a bit because of my knife cut, but it is still a bit flat on top anyway, yeah, so I'm not sure, it's not quite as nice, and I think the white chocolate filling is not quite as, or the white chocolate flavour filling, not quite as good, but you know. Okay. Hmm. Must be like a fondant, really, or anything else. Yeah, it's just not. It's just not quite as tall as it is on the front. It's just not quite the same at all, really. Hmm. You know, the proportions aren't the same. The size isn't quite the same. But the ratio is, you know. So you know, it's just not quite the same bar, basically, with the portrait there. Okay. So uh, right, well, it's melting all over the place. Let's uh, let's give it a taste. <laughs> right. Okay. Got the one uh, I sliced earlier. <laughs> Let's uh, give it a taste. So. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. And the chuck on the outside is, is detectable. Uh, mm. There's not a massive amount of white chocolate flavour filling on the top. The sponge is a bit bland though, you know. Mm. It's okay. Just like the sponge you get from mini rolls really and I guess the filling is not too dissimilar to the mini rolls cream filling um, yeah so I'm just cutting off there we go hmm. so here you go so we you know before we said it looked like um, you know I sort of squidged the, the white chocolate well here it is literally cut off you can see it doesn't even fill the dome either really you know it's curved up and it's not filled edge to edge at all so you can see it's just a chocolate shell it's quite blank really um, yeah, so it's not like, and here's the other half, you know, so it goes right to the top there. So there is literally just empty space, I think, there for some of it. So it's a bit poor, isn't it? That, hmm, yeah, so yeah, hmm. And does it taste of white chocolate? Not really, um, hmm. It just tastes a bit like um, a vanilla filling. Not too dissimilar to a regular mini roll filling, really. It just tastes a bit like that, you know. Mm. Also, the chocolate sponge is okay. I think they're just basically a mini roll that's just been made slightly differently, you know, rather than the swill in the middle. It's just at the top. There might be a slight difference in the taste of the cream sensor, but I'm not so sure. <clears throat> So I think, and I think, um, obviously, the problem as well 
is that the mini you know mini roll has a cream inside the sponge, so it makes us breaks up the sponge and makes it a bit more or less dry, you know. Hmm. Is this one all the flavours at the top? So it's all bunched together a bit more, a bit too prominent for me, a bit too sickly. Hmm. Yes, there's a perfect example there. So you don't get much. Hmm. Not too bad though, a bit better there, doesn't it? Compared to the front, then we can see. A bit better, but you can clearly see now, that's no knife cut of mine there, that's literally the proportions there. So it is very much out of whack, but it's quite a lot of, um, I think you would say it's as tall, but the sponge side of it, but the dome isn't quite as big. Yeah. So the, there's the chocolate topping. Hmm. It's not domed really, but it's just flat. Mm. Yeah, not bad. I think basically it's just like a mini roll that's just had its had its ingredients moved about a bit. Um, <clears throat> so it depends whether you'd rather have a mini roll where all the cream is at the top. <laughs> I think that's the gist of it. Uh, I don't know why you'd want that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it tastes particularly like white chocolate either. Um, and it's white chocolate flavour, so why not just put white chocolate on the outside or something, you know. Um, or just even a bit, I don't know really. But yeah, so a bit disappointing, I think. If you have to white chocolate, I think you'd be disappointed. Um, and I think you may as well just have a mini roll, really. So I think, and for me, it's probably a three out of five. It's quite, I say, it's just quite average, really. It's just quite bland. It's a bit, you know, take it or leave it. Um, it doesn't really taste of white chocolate either. So yeah, but it's not bad. I say, you know, if you think of a mini roll, and if you just imagine, you know, the insides sort of like um, slightly differently. In fact, I've got these Yule logs I'm going to review in a minute. <laughs> um, that's basically what mini roll looks like. So the the, sort of the creams in the centre like that, um, and the sponge on the outside. So you know, yeah. So rather than that, you've got it at the top instead. And that's the gist of these. So yeah, three out of five. Not too bad. <clears throat> just a bit average, really. And I think and I think the white chocolates are mis misleading, but it's not bad the inside as I say. It's probably got a slight different taste than the the cream in a regular mini roll, but not much, not much at all. Yes, yeah, so there we go. <laughs> Be out of five. Okay, yeah, so if you enjoyed that review. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram as well, and the Patreon also. Um, yeah, like my videos, subscribe, leave comments for free. I'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye.